Hello, hello, folks. Um, I should just... Not much happened there. Basically, all that... I'm not sure I will edit it, but not much happened there. Um... My brain is shutting down. Sorry, rebooting. Rebooting. Reboot a Gilman. Um... Oh, what was it? Oh yeah, um I just I was just saying I just realized that um the time. It's now gone like two AM. I was gonna get a Final Fantasy fourteen subscription today, just for a month, just to play for a bit. Because I was uh, having an itch for it. Uh but mom's definitely going to sleep now. I was gonna gonna get her a card off her, but new uh, like I was trying to keep an ear out, but I got so engrossed in this, I completely didn't hear her coming upstairs. So, uh, you know, I'll just grab it tomorrow instead. You know, I'm gonna save here for a moment. Okay. Defensive pack. Do it. Just a bit of scouting. I should know how much longer was left on that. Oh, they don't have any observers. Go ahead, Commander. Now they do. Okay, I have to rush that. I have to rush it. Um... Gonna be going ground army, I guess. There. Get the tanks into position. I don't get what's the you know what's up with the limitations and the you know command queuing. It's very odd. Uh, like you can't command, you can tell a tank can move here and then siege, it will just siege. It's very strange. Didn't like this place. And they apparently done heavy damage just to these corners, and that's apparently quite structurally imp important.
and start building this so we can start tapping into the, the geyser down there and all that. It would be nice if there was like infighting between the Protoss and Shazar. Well, not infighting, but they're they're my enemies, you know. If there's you know, like squabbles between those two factions, like say if their army came here and his army came here, if they got close enough, they would engage each other. That would be nice. I sincerely doubt that's in the game, but that would be cool if it was. I also don't know why they couldn't have, you know, the mineral counter go down when the building is started. And go up up again when, like, say, the SCV is killed, you know, or, you know, whatever, you know. Having to wait and see what happens is, uh, you, know, you know, wait for the building to start before go spending again in case they overspend. It's a little annoying. But yeah, this route isn't actually canon. Um, the other route we did was the canon one. We know this because... Um... Basically, the sequel confirms it. But yeah, there was a few uh, uh, non... For Blizzard's older games, Diablo 1 and uh, StarCraft, there was a few... Attack. Uh, yeah, for Blizzard's older games... Um... Pause it. Yeah, for Blizzard's older games, like Diablo 1 and StarCraft 2, there was a variety of not, uh, commission, or non-Blizzard made but still authorized, you know, expansions for them. For Diablo 1, there was the Hellfire expansion, which added a new character to the game, as well as a new dungeon and new items, new, uh, uh, more levels. There's a more potent version of Diablo in it, for example. And then for StarCraft, Enslavers was one of them, as was Enslavers 2, and then the Stukov series. The Stuckoff series was only in uh, StarCraft 64. What I'm going to be playing is a port someone, two people did, for it to StarCraft 2. From... I mean, go look them up to get credit. Um, Starcraft Legacy, Zero and Drake Clawfang of Starcraft Legacy. Um, I 
hope it's a accurate, you know, um, tank. Basically, I'm scared of uh, mass recalls a way of doing it where they add in a ton of custom music and shit. Apparently, Red, uh, Resurrection 4 was a two-player secret mission. And it was the secretest of secret missions, where you had to beat even Dark Origin without any cheats to get it. All levels, including Dark Origin. Dark Origin, and no cheats. Uh, but there is uh, the versions done by Zero and Drake Kofang are they have a one player and two player iterations of them. Cool, StarCraft Legacy actually got to do an interview with um, Chris Metzen back at some stage. Um, not sure when. They don't have a date on it. And it does seem uh, StarCraft Legacy is a site. Like, they have. I suppose there hasn't been any StarCraft news. I was just thinking they, they hadn't, like, the, the news segment hadn't been updated since Nova. But there hasn't been really much news else. You know? Like, nothing big like that. there will be fine for the moment. If this is unlike the other mission, here we'll get hammered a lot. But yeah, I'm not sure which version of Stokov missions I actually have. I have some iteration of them, but I don't know what. From what little I saw of the base up here, it doesn't seem too burly. But then again, neither did the Zerg iteration. And it was potent enough to hold me off. One thing I will be concerned of, they, these may have Dark Templar. As weird as that would honestly be. Actually, it would, make, it would make no sense for them to have Dark Templar. But they're using Brood War units in a pre-Brood War situation. Which is bugging the shit out of me. So basically what they, you know, despite the logicalness of it, they may still have, um... Um... They may still have um, Dark Templar. Like this is just after Episode One of StarCraft One. You know the Conclave and Co. happens. Now, um, You know, they haven't imprisoned Tassadar yet, so there hasn't been, you know, any... ...anything like that. You know, so... ...wouldn't be working with Dark Templar yet. Um... 
an armory. Do need to get an armory, right? Yeah. Not sure. Stay there for the healing. I'm gonna save here and I'm gonna do a quick little check. It's not fully scientific. You know, it won't get, give me all answers. But. I'll answer at least some questions. Yeah. See, they don't have any Dark Templar here. They mightn't have any. Uh, I, I, just because they don't have Dark Templar there doesn't mean they don't have Dark Templar at all. But, that might be the case. And if they don't have Dark Templar, then I'm in a much better case. Because I was worried I was going to have to babysit science vessels. Honestly, this just looks like a giant snowflake. Yeah, the proton space above me does seem like it could be easier to take than uh, the other ten. Actually, I still will need to ba bring in um, 
Actually, no, maybe not. Uh, not necessarily, no. Remember the temple, how it was defended by invisible units? But that was because they were cloaked by an Arbiter. Shoot down the Arbiter, cloak is gone. I'm also thinking I could, to make it easier, you know, drop siege to tanks up here, but... 